Dummy? I thought dummies are supposed to be funny. Are you kidding? He's hilarious. I'm hoping to learn a few of his routines so someday I can be a world-famous dummy. Uh, I mean comedian. I want to see how Bob throws his voice. It could be useful in our line of work. I'm glad we came early. I wanted us to have decent seats. I'm afraid the decent seats are reserved for decent people. First come, first serve, Angela. Your money doesn't give you any special power here. <gasps> It's survival of the fastest. Ow! No fair! I have more money! <laughs> hey, Bob! Did you hear they are taking the word gullible out of the dictionary? Really? And I'm the dummy? <laughs> Bebo's even funnier in person! Admit it, Bebo. You couldn't do this act without me. Oh, yeah? Watch me work in a new partner. Can I get a volunteer from the audience? Pick me! Pick me! Pick her! Pick her! You, wearing the purple curtain. Come on up. Don't worry, Charlie. I'm sure he'll pick you next time. So, young lady, tell us a little about yourself. What's your name and your favorite hobbies? I'm Mona the Vampire. My favorite hobby is conquering the infinitely strange and paranormal. Well, being a vampire, you probably know some magic tricks. Am I right, Fang Face? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha ha, Fang Face! Yeah, show us a trick and disappear! I'm gonna turn this flower into a fish. The magic incantation, flower, flower in my hand. Swim in water, not on land. <laughs> Very funny, Beepo. I've got one for you. Go oh, we're all out of time, Fang Face. I'll call you again if we ever need a bat for the act. In the meantime, ooh, get some sun. <laughs> I apologize for Beepo. He can be a little harsh sometimes. Thanks for your help. Hey, wake up, Bob. Sleepwalking <laughs> isn't part of the act. You're getting too old for this. <laughs> it's time for some new blood. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, our last show is tomorrow night. Let me hear it one more time. Who's the dummy? You're the dummy! You're lucky Beepo didn't pick you, Charlie. There's something very creepy about him. Don't be mad at Beepo, Mona. He was just practicing his art. I'm not mad. He was pretty funny. But I uh, don't agree with making fun of the audience. This is serious. My vampire sense has picked up a weird energy drain. Bob looks like he's getting weaker. Hi, Fang Face. You got the best seat in the house. Yeah, the hot seat. See you at school. T-shirts! Cool! Let's check them out! Why is everyone so taken by this Beepo? Hmm. My vampire intuition is telling me something. I'm so tired. Yeah, quit your complaining. You've got at least one more show's worth of life left in you. You been eating onions again? Oh, I see there's a star in our 
our midst. Everyone just loves to see you get insulted. You're so good at it. Bang face. Everybody, <laughs> bang face. Bang face. Bang face. Bang face. Bang face. Okay, okay, that's enough. You know, a lot of famous people were mocked as children. Prince Charles was mocked as a boy for his big ears, and look at him now. He's a. Uh, is still the Queen's son. <laughs> Mona, where are you going? My vampire senses have been working overtime. I'm going to defeat that Bebo. Are you guys in? Defeat him for what? He didn't do anything except make people laugh. You'll have to trust me on this. There's a lot more to that ventrilo creep Bebo than meets the eye. I'll help you, Mona. A ventrilo what? Bebo's a comic genius, and that's it. I'm going to make sure he picks me out of the audience tonight. How are we going to track Bebo down? Don't worry. A paranormal puppet buster always has a good plan. Hello? Do you have someone named Bob staying at your motel? Thanks. Hello, Bob? Is Bebo there? One moment, please. Hey, hey, hey! Who's the dummy? Bingo. I found it. Lucky there's only one motel in town. Princess Giant, the bushes! We should call Officer Halcroft and get Bebo arrested for driving without a license. Do we have time for that? You're right, too much paperwork. We need to create a diversion to get inside the room. Fang, you're going undercover. <laughs> Remember, if we get separated, go straight home. I don't want you to fight the ventriloquy by yourself. You are a handsome kitty. Are you lost? Maybe you can live with me and my other cats. Uh, Minnie and Farley and Sparkle and Fluffy and Elvis. Vitamins? Bob needs them to keep going. And Charlie called him stylish? Ah! A scrapbook. Bebo's first show. 1896? Bebo is alive. Once he's drained a puppeteer of his life essence, Bebo moves on to the next victim. Who do you think is his next victim? Mona, the next ventriloquist is the last person he splashed with the flower during the show. You! So I said to her, that's no monkey, that's just Bob. <laughs> Bob, maybe you need a banana break while I pick on someone from the audience. Oh, Bebo, pick me! Pick me! Mona, what are you doing? Hey, Bebo, your biggest fan wants to be the next volunteer. Really? Who? She's right here, and her name is Angela. What? So, let me get this straight. Your family's claim to fame is winning the lottery. Yes, it is. You know it's been proven that lotteries are the best way to get rich. It's like being royalty. No effort involved. That's it. She's ruining the act. Bebo, you should have picked me. I'll make a really great assistant. Oh, no. I know all your jokes. That's great. Here, have your own special Bebo lapel pin. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. He got Charlie after all. You're going to be my next ventriloquist. <laughs> Not while Mona the Vampire is on the job. Princess Giant, let's get out of here! Did you hear the one about the ventrilo creep victim? Of course you did. You're the victim. Oh! <gasps> 
Trillo tube. Let me have it. You heard him. Let him have it. <laughs> Who's the dummy now? Uh, I'm really sorry, Bob, but Bibu had it coming. Being splashed with water is no fun. Hmm, you're right. We'll cut that from the act. In fact, I think I'll cut the whole act altogether. Really? Don't you think you can fix Bebo? I'm gonna retire, kids. Working with Bebo is just too exhausting. I bet he can suck the life right out of you. What'll happen to Bebo now? Oh, he'll retire in style. I'll donate him to the International Puppet Museum in New York City. He's an antique. Oh, um, hey, you. Come over here. Ever thought of a career in show business? <laughs> What's so funny about that yearbook? Oh, you had to be there. Oh, look. There's Larry Ripton getting the last place ribbon at the science fair. Loser Larry. He sure got teased a lot. I doubt he shows his face tonight, poor guy. Poor? I don't think so. He's made millions off his computer inventions. He probably has better things to do. Look at that! A big black limo! Those things are such gas guzzlers. It's more sensible to have a nice family economy car. Look, your father and I wanted at a track and field meet. Out of sight! Groovy! About them. They're ugly, smelly, and live on the ocean floor. Never judge an oyster by its shell. Their beauty lies inside their shells, where they create pearls like these. They look like ball bearings. No, they're real pearls. I'm wearing them tonight to the reunion. <laughs> so, what do you think? Don't I look glamorous? Yes, Miss Gato! Bravo! Next to diamonds, pearls are a girl's best friend. Whoa! There's a limo in town that's having a strange effect on people. Like Miss Gatto acting all weird about her looks? Exactly. It makes people feel like losers. I heard Miss Gatto spent over $300 just to look good for the reunion tonight. Well, my mother spent $1,000 on eye gloss. Angela, there's no such thing as eye gloss. There is if you have $1,000. Settle, class, uh, settle. I will be substituting for Miss Gotto, who had to go home to take care of a personal crisis. Sounds like the work of the loser limo. The great achievers of the 20th century. None of them were school principals. Okay, instead, let's do some push ups to get in shape. One. He's gone nuts. Ever since he rode in the loser limo, he's lost his confidence. Too bad he didn't lose that gut. It doesn't take a vampire mind to figure out the loser limo is out to ruin the school reunion tonight. Let's check on Miss Gatto to make sure she's okay. 
Miss Gatto's a mess! Her indecision will keep her safe from the loser limo long enough so that Mona the Vampire can deal with it. What's the matter, Officer Halcroft? Look at me. The biggest crime I ever solved was figuring out who put the dress on the town statue. What about that time you single-handedly foiled those bank robbers? I slipped on the bank's wax floor and accidentally knocked them out with a mop. I'm a regular action hero. Uh, nice try, but face it, I'm a loser. No reunion for yours truly tonight. That loser limo thinks it's above the law. Well, it's not above mine. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. See you later at the reunion, Mr. and Mrs. Average. Did you see its license plate? Loser's rule. Who would take pride in being a loser? I'll heat up the iron to make sure our clothes look their best tonight. Yeah, I'll wax the car again. This time with the expensive stuff. <laughs> I thought your mom hated ironing. Cheap a color car. I thought your dad loved his car. The dark forces inside the loser limo are more powerful than we imagined. The answer has to be in here somewhere. That license plate read loser's rule. Maybe there's a loser's club in this yearbook. Wait a minute, loser's rule. L-R, hmm. Those are Larry Ripton's initials. Tonight, when they all realize they're the real losers. That's it. Larry Ripton is controlling the loser limo. Team, it's time to go into overdrive and take action. We can't fight a car that big. Take away its confidence, and we'll bring it down to size. My beach bucket. I've been looking for that. Zap man, focus. Where are we going to find the loser limo? Some place that feeds its ego. There it is! We'll take our positions. Uh, I don't deserve to charge you money. Consider it on the house. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Thanks, loser! <laughs> in this town who didn't call me by my stupid nickname. What was your science project? A computerized shoe that tells you when you need to tie your laces. That's awesome. I ended up making millions off it, 
but I still remember everyone laughing at me. Now I'm making them feel like I did at school. But my dad felt bad about how they treated you then. He did? And my mom was looking forward to seeing you again. Really? Yes. You're a winner now. Yeah. Look at this cool car you're driving. See, just because you didn't win things at school didn't mean you really were a loser. It was just a phase. So you let everyone go? I wish I could, but the loser limo won't let me. Whoa! It's out of control! Loser's rule! Dad is a loser! It's ribbon time! Winner! 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 I never had the nerve to tell you what a crush I had on you. <laughs> really? You should have said something. Of course, I was shy back then, too. You really liked me? Yes, <laughs> but you used to run away every time I said hi. You know, Larry, it's never too late. Ooh. Oh. Paranormal forces of darkness is a real confidence builder. I doubt that the loser limo will be intimidating anyone anymore. Mm. 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 Mm.